The guest is Dr. Cupid Poe, and the topic is the many faces of despair. And of course, Dr. Poe, uh, we want to give you an opportunity uh, not only to identify uh, the uh, concept of despair, but also to be a little more specific in reference to it. I think you mentioned uh, the fact of language uh, being a part of uh, despair, that there's a language, you say, of despair. Let's talk about that, because I've never uh, thought about uh, despair from any perspective like dealing with language. Go on, let's talk yes. about this. Well, as I said before, uh, uh, despair is widespread uh, and has many faces or many manifestations. Uh, I've come to recognize that uh, despair has a language. There are, there are certain things that people say uh, who are in despair. For example, uh, I don't care anymore. Um, uh, I'm gonna, nobody's gonna tell me what to do. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Uh, I'm grown. Um, so that's an I, that's some of the language of despair. Uh, also, uh, people who are in despair uh, are characterized by certain beliefs, and that is that they have a right to do what they wanna do. Okay. That they have a right. They believe they have a right to do what they wanna do, that they have a right to, uh, uh, to, 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 to go where they want to go. They even have a right to take advantage of other people, okay, if it advances their, themselves. Uh, so that's basically a, a kind of a thumbnail sketch of, of some of the, the language of despair. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, let's talk about uh, despair, uh, Dr. Poe, and uh, the, the uh, connection between despair and mental illness. Mm -hmm. Because I think that uh, that's a very, very popular topic today. And uh, let's, let, let's talk about it. Well, okay. Uh, oftentimes, uh, mental illness is preceded by guilt. Mm -hmm. And we know that guilt uh, is either false or true. Mm -hmm. Now, oftentimes, when people are abused or alone in life, they, they blame themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we would call then false guilt. Mm -hmm. But now, if that guilt is not resolved, that person can easily enter into a condition of despair. Mm -hmm. And once in a condition of despair, the manifestation may be increased anxiety, mm -hmm. panic attacks, uh, insomnia, mm -hmm. irritability, uh, mm -hmm. mood swings, mm -hmm. uh, paranoia, mm -hmm. uh, hearing voices, uh, seeing things, uh, delusional thinking. The person may feel that uh, he or she is superior to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, they may have uh, delusions of persecution that people are out to get okay. them. They may have delusions of being controlled by forces outside of themselves mm -hmm. or controlled by another person. Uh, they may have what's called nihilistic delusions where they believe that the world is coming to an end in a few days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so delusional thinking, uh, for example, or psychotic symptoms are often mm -hmm. manifestations of despair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so, Dr. Poole, it, it, it's so very, very widespread that uh, it's almost impossible to uh, characterize uh, what it is because uh, everything that you see uh, each day, you know, even t dealing with the language, uh, uh, sort of reminds you that uh, these individuals are, according to what you're saying, are either in despair or they are what? Going into uh, a, a state of despair. Is that what we are saying? Absolutely. Well, let me give some examples of uh, some other faces of despair. I believe that sagging. You know what our young people are doing now? Mm -hmm. uh, walking around with their pants uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, half off. Okay. I think that's a manifestation of despair. Gang involvement, mm -hmm. I think, is a manifestation of, this, of, of despair. Hate crimes, mm -hmm. hate, racism, mm -hmm. is a manifestation of despair. Uh, persistently taking advantage of other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sexual promiscuity, mm -hmm. a manifestation of despair. Oftentimes, alcohol abuse or alcohol addiction, mm -hmm. drug abuse, drug addiction, uh, the persistent craving of food, mm -hmm. in many cases, obesity, mm -hmm. uh, may be a manifestation of, of despair. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence, road rage, workplace violence. So you see, there <laughs> uh, despair has many manifestations. And, 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 and I think we all recognize are uh, these manifestations of despair. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we ever uh, completely put it together and say that unless this individual can uh, be changed from his uh, attitude and et cetera, et cetera, that something uh, not uh, good is going to be, uh, be a result of uh, that attitude. Is, 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 is that, would that be correct? Well, that's true. If a person is in a condition of despair, uh, their thinking is distorted, as we said, 
uh, despair and uh, distorts a person's beliefs. Uh, it also renders them uh, uh, motivated to pursue pleasure. Mm -hmm. In other words, the world says the answer to pain is mm -hmm. pleasure. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're in pain, just find a way to experience pleasure. Uh, the Bible says that the answer to pain is God. Mm -hmm. The answer to pain is trying to live your life pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. And so the Spirit of God then resolves your pain, okay. resolves your despair. And by the way, one of the, the, one of the characteristic features of despair is deep pain. Mm -hmm. People in despair are hurting on okay. the inside. Mm -hmm. Now, oftentimes, they may not even be aware of the fact okay. that they're hurting, but they are. And so hurting then uh, uh, pushes them, uh, uh, drives them mm -hmm. to pursue pleasure. Mm -hmm. And that often results to relieve in the, the, to relieve the, the pain. Hurt. Okay. To relieve the pain. Mm -hmm. And that often drives them to engage in self-destructive behaviors, mm -hmm. uh, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, mm -hmm. uh, violence, mm -hmm. uh, overeating, mm -hmm. uh, staying up all night, mm -hmm. uh, getting involved in a game, okay, engaging in, in uh, uh, other destructive kinds mm -hmm. of behavior. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you're in despair, uh, you're in pain. Mm -hmm. And being in pain, you're prone to seek pleasure as an answer to your despair. Mm -hmm. And by the way, despair has a positive side. Okay. The positive side is that to the extent that it hurts, despair hurts, to the extent that it involves feelings of hopelessness and helplessness and worthlessness and powerlessness mm -hmm. to the extent that the person often has an urge to hurt themselves or maybe somebody else or both, it's a wake-up call. Okay. It's, it's a wake-up call. It's a warning. It's a message. Mm -hmm. You need help. Mm -hmm. You need to get some help for your condition. Mm -hmm. So fortunately then, many people in despair for the first time will turn to God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? To overcome mm -hmm. the despair and the pain mm -hmm. of their despair. Mm -hmm. Okay? Unfortunately, some people will turn to alcohol and drugs, as we mm -hmm. said, or turn to sex or food, mm -hmm. or if they already uh, have an addiction, uh, they'll get more into the addiction. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so despair then has a, has a positive side. Mm -hmm. I believe God allows despair so that he can use it mm -hmm. to get the, the person's mm -hmm. attention who needs to turn to God or draw closer to him. Okay, and Dr. Poe, let's take this uh, final commercial break and we'll come back and we'll talk about uh, some of the answers for this uh, kind of despair that we've talked about. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The guest is Dr. Cupid.